welcome Aries it's the end of September take that time as you may <laughs> heart spread this is a card reading uh, reads the ones on your mind ones in your heart and uh, kind of look at you and compare uh, where you're at against uh, where your person is at and see how you're looking and then look how you're feeling about them and how they're feeling about you once you're kind of interacting and then get some advice on for you on the re relationship with them and some advice from spirit for them on the relationship with you and advice on the relationship as a whole and then the outcome and I don't know it's only eight card but it goes I think it gets there and so let's see I like to do the the first and second card are also uh, you know for confirmation if it's resonating because if the out of the shoot I'm saying because this is going to read your energy the way you are now in terms of love and relationship and if you don't resonate with that well obviously not you if you do hang in there because it could be could be your heart spread so uh, using the ethereal visions illuminated tarot um, Let's see what we got. In the name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good. We're asking spirit here to help us. Only helpful advice uh, about what's going on with this person that's in your heart. Okay, if you haven't, uh, please do check out Soul Family Reads up for today. I think it was a really good one today. Uh, it's just for whoever resonates and I'd kind of do a daily read. Um, so um, yeah, just check it out. You either will or you won't. And here we're going to look at you and who's on your mind. And well, I absolutely love the Ace of Swords to start out with, because then if this is you, um, um, you're obviously not an air sign. You know, um, when you're Aries, you can often have a lot of Aquarian energy. One thing I've noticed as an astrologer is pretty much every time I've dealt with a thousand people, are over and look with you know interviews and that kind of thing mostly learning you know not that many per pay or well, I'd be in better shape but uh, <laughs> this ace of swords if it's a mercury um, in Aquarius it's like first class mercury which is what your mind um, it's I just found uh, I don't even think it has any special uh, exaltation there but I just found that people with mercury and Aquarius can just get mental jobs done, you know? It's like they just have that ability. I don't have a lot of air in my chart, but more than that, and this kind of relationship, um, it seems uh, if you're cross-watching, okay? This person's very sincere. Your Aries here, they're completely sincere. Um, and, it's, and it's kind of being Aries, but with your communication here, I would say, and then your thinking. So this is you, and I try to read this a little separate from your person, to try to get a baseline for kind of where you're at as a person and where your person's at just as a person, kind of separate from you guys' energy together. But you're someone that is not mentioned words. You're, you're not gonna get on, on, start talking to someone and spend months like if just kind of dicking around and not really getting to the point. I mean, you're gonna come in and say like, you know, um, I really wanna get to know you and um, interested in you and I'm um, not um, serious about a relationship and I think it's going to take some communication and uh, here's how I feel about things. You know, I want children, I don't want children. I want to live in a home, I want to live in a condo, I want to live in the country, I want to live in the city. This is that kind of thing, like verbally, like coming right at someone, which, you know, uh, another fire sign be like, cool, but some might be earth sign, <laughs> be like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is like the second date, you know. <laughs> Justice. So your person's coming in here, Aries, with the major con on number one here. Um, and number two, Justice. So we've got to think of uh, Libra. But to look at the sword that this woman has, you know, um, and the owl. I mean, it's absolute wisdom. Um, it, I mean, the most obvious thing here is they're coming in off of a divorce. They're not yet divorced, right? Aries, um, they're in the middle of a divorce. It's the energy of where they're at in terms of love and relationship. So somehow that energy of divorce is on them. The divorce could be over. I know a guy who divorce was five, I don't know, eight years out, ten years, and it was on him so hard because that's all that counts. Is it on you? Do you feel it? 
you know, if you got divorced last week and you were in a horrible relationship for years and you've emotionally detached over a period of time, hello, um, it may seem quick to other people, but to you, you didn't just detach in two weeks or two months. Uh, you detached in two years and maybe it was very painful. I'm talking about the cross watcher here and your person, Aries. Um, but in some way, I feel like it's still on them. They're still trying to shake that off, you know. Um, it could represent labor energy uh, in, in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Think about that. Do you like, by the way, <laughs> uh, you can say that more. I just like to get caught in a reading. I hate all the bullshit of the, you know, business stuff. I'm trying not to curse, but it's not easy. Uh, but I like this. One reason I like this, um, you know, you, you've got, I feel like they're two air energy. So, the thing that's working here for you, I think, is like you're um, probably, maybe, you know, you could say, if you may already know this, uh, Aries, but maybe their story is, you know, things were kept from them. Um, you know, Libra energy has a way of like, you know, they can just all of a sudden want a divorce and you have no idea because they try so hard all the time to please and they want every, no one to be upset and, you know, just stuffing and stuffing and then finally they just can't stuff it anymore. And if you're not real perceptive, you know, uh, basically, uh, it's like to you, it might feel like, where the hell did this come from? I thought everything was fine. You know, you're telling me you love me yesterday. Uh, and they just, you know, uh, pop off. Um, and so maybe they appreciate your straightforwardness here, Aries, you know. Um, now, I'm not 100% convinced they're Libra's sun, but I think there's Libra energy, okay? So remember, sun, moon, rising, Venus. I mean, in this case, even Mars could be relevant, Jupiter could be relevant, Jupiter's at uh, Saturn more so, Saturn, I mean, um, it's going to be, it's exalted, I believe, here um, in Libra, so, um, I like it coming out of the shoot. Now, this is how you're reacting to them, Seven of Wands, now, it's hard not to read Seven of Wands as uh, you then putting up some kind of boundaries, and these are taking actions. This is a wounded uh, warrior, too, here. Um, I got a feeling it's kind of intuitive. Um, you're reacting badly to their story. You know, we tell each other their, our stories, and they're telling you the story of, about, kind of like I was saying, uh, something along those lines, um, where um, the communication wasn't there, and they felt your partner here feels. I'm not even saying it wasn't there, because I, I don't know, but they feel like it wasn't there. Um, but if it was their fault, I mean, it seems like they're taking responsibility for it, because now they're coming in with justice. So that's like saying, look, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm going to communicate, you know, uh, what I got to say. Uh, and you're already doing that, but now you're defensive here with this Nine of Wands, and yet they've got the Ten of Cups. Wow. Um, thinking this is your energy in and around relationships. I mean in and around your relationship with this specific person So you're coming in with this energy being wide open uh, Interested sincere. I think this in this position in a heart spread represents a person That wants a relationship you're actively desiring a relationship You're not sitting around with cats going on never having another man or another woman or whatever um, You're like, you know looking for it and stuff so you know, I think you guys hit it off because you both probably were direct with each other, you know. But now, while they're deeply in love with you, their reaction to you is just like, you're their dream come true, right? Ten of Cups. Because this is how they feel about you. There's no other way to read that. Look at, just look at how beautiful the card is, the scene. I mean, it just, that's how they feel. This piece of art expresses how they feel about you. But this is, you know, wow. I got a feeling that you're feeling like it's some kind of burden uh, dealing with their story and maybe dealing with their energy. A lot of people watching this channel, if you watch the Soul Family Read, it's for energy people, workers, how you consider it. You, um, you know, uh, particularly if you're feeling attracted to them and, and your heart wants to open to them, so you emotionally want to be there for them. And I think that you were because look how they're feeling. You know, and they're coming in as justice. That's not a stupid person. That's not a frivolous person. So if they're reacting to you with the Ten of Cups, I mean, it could be projection. 
but it, I get the feeling it's sound. Like, in other words, you're doing something that's making them feel like just so loved and like you're the perfect one for them. But at the same time, the experience is causing you to feel weary and, and tired, like, you know, you just need to take a break. I mean, this could speak to just, uh, it, I really don't want to go with energy vampirism uh, here, uh, but um, as an Aries, you might be extra sensitive. You know, you could, who knows, you could have a Pisces moon. You could have a Venus in Pisces, a Mercury in Pisces, very common. Um, and um, I get the feeling there's like some empathic thing going on. And so really what I think, like share this reading. Someone sent me a message, so I shared my reading with my lover because it exactly was our story and then the lover comment I was like I love it they said I love this put them on the page here uh, I, I would love to have it used that way you know um, because uh, I mean this could be as simple as you know them kind of letting it go like uh, you know they could talk about it some you know but get out of that and talk about something pleasant between you guys how beautiful you are Aries or how handsome you are, Aries, and do something romantic and, and forward-thinking, you know, um, and to relieve you, sort of what uh, feels like kind of a burden. Um, you know, honestly, too, it, it could be in a way like, um, it, you know, Aries with water, it's I'm Sag with what, Cancer Moon. Uh, we're always conflicted, so it's like um, we're, we're very emotional and very open, but at the same time, it... it it really kind of wears us down and because um, we're not really water like signs you know um, we want to take it kind of puts a fire out you know what I mean it, it can get to you too much of it you know even with myself it's why Aries Sag your sister signs you don't typically see us if you see us doing depression and something's really wrong okay well, let's see what we've got this is your advice Aries in the relationship I just want to see he's pointing away so the Knight of Pentacles here is your advice in the relationship with this individual. I would note that's uh, pointing away. Um, you need some time. And if you're cross-watching, uh, don't be freaked out about this Knight of Wands. Listen to what I'm saying. Get ahead of it and say to them, you know, I love you and I uh, really appreciate what you give me. And I know it's a little overwhelming. I'm going to back it the fuck up a little bit. It's not a big deal. You know, it's not totally not a big deal. There's nothing nothing here to, to any kind of big deal. But, you know, uh, for an Aries, it looks like you're, this is going really slow because this is your advice. So strong advice here, I, I don't know if you would take it, it is to slow it down. And um, it, I think it's almost like saying, because it's coming underneath this nine of one, it's saying it's okay to slow it down, you know. Hey, Aries, you know, it's not like an admonition. It's like, you know what, uh, just throw it out there. There's this option that you can just slow it the fuck down because it's a little overwhelming, you know. I wasn't supposed to say fuck, but oh well. Wow, so your person now is coming in with judgment. Um, Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I like it. Good worker card. You're both serious people. Let there be no doubt. Um, to turn that off. So now judgment coming in with justice, and this is the advice from spirit. Um, your person's probably going through some kind of significant transit. I have no idea. You know, you've got uh, so much important stuff going on, and you know, it'd be an outer planet uh, transit or something powerful to the nodes. Um, those outer planets are the ones. Something to uh, Pluto. I have Pluto opposite my uh, moon now, so <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> There's no, I've killed anyone yet, you know. So, um, I, they're going through something significant. It, it, I think that's totally karmic. You, you don't, you don't bebop into somebody's life when they're undergoing a powerful uh, transformation or moving through a portal from one huge, you know, you got the 10 here, justice, judgment, uh, from one huge uh, period of their life. I can carve my life this way. In 2017, because of really a romantic event, but it just carved my, such a clear uh, mark, you know, demarcation in my life, like like a canyon, is carved through through the body of my life, 
It's something like that for them. So this could have been uh, this uh, uh, marriage, something long term, uh, something that was left a big mark on them. And uh, spirits coming in and saying, "You're being called up, cross watcher. Your person's being called up here, Aries, and not called out, called up. Rise up. The energy's here for that. I mean, this lion's gate's been amazing." Um, the energy uh, hammering us, it's uh, many people saying, you know, it's Ascension City, uh, there's all kind of upgrades, and they're just, you're getting them, we're getting them whether we want them or not, right? So it's just a matter of how much can you take advantage of, and this is saying take advantage of that. Um, and it's also saying to you, Aries, and this is perhaps why your Knight of Pentacles is reversed, because now we're going to look at the Knight of Pentacles as your advice, compared to Judgment as their advice. I'd say in both cases they're slow down because judgment is slow down. Judgment is like realize what you're doing here. This is a big deal. <laughs> um, there's a, if they go back and look at their marriage, uh, it was unfulfilling. And but why? Why? I think they know why. And this judgment's about why. And with you, they somehow feel that they won't have this. They'll be in a new pattern uh, in relationships. You know. Um, I mean, they all kind of are into you, Aries. I mean, wow. Be, have no doubt. Have no doubt. Six Pentacles. Man, I mean, coming between Judgment and the Knight of Pentacles. This is your advice for the relationship as a whole, guys. Very clearly. Once again, you got Labor. got the scales. But this is more like Venus now in Taurus. Venus in the second house. Pentacles. Very much Taurus. Very much second house. Uh, actually, look at that. Composite jar. Big time. Look at your second house. Um, maybe your nearest rising as a couple, you know. Now put Taurus in your second house. But um, I consider it like a blessing. It's like the reason you're going to slow down, your partner's going to realize how, uh, what a great import this relationship is. And you're going to kind of realize that. And you need that time. And the Knight of Pentacles, very sensible, always gets it done. Um, takes their time to get it right. And you're being blessed with the stability and right here in the core of the heart's bed, this, this stability. And this, this would be in your chart. Uh, composite could be Saturn, sextile, trine, Venus, something like this. Uh, the IC, the DC, the AC. Uh, and these binding kind of elements you'll see around Venus. In Sinistry, you can see this. The outcome, the Ten of Swords going to call this one out, but I think I see what's going on here. The reason why you need this time, something has to come to an end. Look, you're coming in with the Ace of Swords. They're coming in with Justice, kind of this sword energy because it's Libra, and her sword is damn well prominent here. And the outcome of this, looking at the also bottom of the deck being the Eight of Pentacles, is you guys are going to put an end to this energy with both of you, you know, um, being really direct, uh, not worrying about the past things, uh, not being triggered, um, and you getting through this energy of feeling like you're being overwhelmed. You know, Aries, you're being overwhelmed because your person has not yet dealt with this, and they're like literally kind of putting the energy on you, like they want you to absorb it, I don't think you want to do it, you know, but it's all about communication. And then your thoughts. And so you guys are going to sit, communicate about this. And you're going to take your time. You're going to get really grounded. And you're going to let this go. And the Ten of uh, Swords not so horrible here. Um, this is like, after this, you get, what do you get after the Ten of Swords? I'll, I'll give you time. You can raise your hand if you know the answer. See who's raising their hand. You get this. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah. So you, I would say, I kind of had this feeling earlier. This relationship barriers is going your way. And however it breaks, uh, it's going to kind of break your way. I don't know, it may not seem that way now. Uh, but I think they're literally kind of more in love with you than you are with them. And the ball's in your court. Uh, it, everything's going to break your way. I don't see anything bad for them. I think it's just going to, you know, relationships are never even. I think the way things are going to break, I think that this work that being done, this kind of connecting that's being done, the slowing down and taking your time to come together um, is going to have a greater benefit to you uh, later 
and whereas now you might all of it be thinking of like what it's all about them and they're the one that's getting divorced and I'm cool and but I think like when it's all said and done like both of you um, we're going to end up in a really good place um, where you're ready to move forward basically like the ace of swords energy so I love it thank you guys <laughs>